So in this problem, we're told that f of x is equal to x squared minus 5x over x minus 5, and g of x is equal to x. And we're asked, is it true that f equals g? So let's think about this problem. So we're told that f of x equals this, and g of x equals this. Now, the thing that you can recognize here is like that you might have thought to do is, well, if you have x squared minus 5x over x minus 5, if you factor out an x of this, you'll get x times x minus 5 over x minus 5, and these will cancel and you'll get x. So is it true that x equals x? It might seem that case, but it's not, and I'll try and explain why. So in this one, if we plug in a 5 here, well, if we, let's just start with this one. If g of x, if we plug in a 5 into that, we'll get g of 5 is equal to just 5. But in this one, if we plug in a 5, f of 5 is going to be equal to, uh, if we plug in 5, it would become 5 squared, which is 25, minus 5 times 5, which is 25 over 5 minus 5, which equals 0 over 0. And this is going to be um, indeterminate. So uh, basically what this means is that they can't be the same, because if we plug in 5 into this one, we're going to get 0 over 0. And if we plug in 5 into this one, we're going to get 5. And that's going to be the only value they differ on, but because they um, are not the same for that one value, then that means um, they can't be equal. So is it true that f is equal to g? No, it's not true. So this is going to be the answer to this problem.